Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to unbox the new Nest thermostat that just came out in November of 2020. So I actually have all three current versions of the Nest thermostat here. We've got the Nest E over here, the new Google Nest thermostat here that came out in 2020, and the Nest Gen 3 just for comparison. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside the new Google Nest thermostat. So you can see that the face of the new Google Nest thermostat is larger and different than either of these two thermostats. This is a frosted glass display. The Gen 3 is more like a traditional smartphone display. And the new Google Nest thermostat is actually a mirrored display. And you can see me there on the camera in the mirrored display. And then the numbers light up behind that. So let's go ahead and open this up a little bit further. And you can see there's a couple major changes that they've made to the new Google Nest thermostat. On the back side, we actually have access to the batteries so that if these ever go bad, they can be replaced on the thermostat. Whereas the old versions of the Nest thermostat did not have user serviceable batteries you would have had to take these screws out and mess with a whole bunch of electronics in there to replace that Nest thermostat battery, where these ones just pop in and out. So let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper and see what's inside the rest of this box here. Now, the new Google Nest thermostat also comes in three different colors currently. So I have the white version, but there also is a sand color and a gray color, but I could not get my hands on one of those gray or sand color devices yet. So let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Now, the only remaining thing inside the box is the base plate, which we've got here and two screws to mount the base plate. So let's go ahead and take a further look at this base plate and compare it to the other Nest base plates so you can understand how these will work in your home. Now, the new Google Nest thermostat only has six terminals, which makes it similar to the Nest E thermostat, and it has the exact same six terminals as the Nest E. Now, the Nest third generation has 10 terminals, and what the difference is between having 10 terminals and six terminals is that the Nest Generation 3 is going to be compatible with more HVAC systems than either the new Google Nest thermostat or the Nest E. And what makes it compatible with more HVAC systems is that the additional terminals on the Nest Generation 3 allow you to add devices like humidifiers or second stage heating or second stage cooling and it's going to have more compatibility with heat pump systems that have auxiliary heat or electric heat or dual fuel systems. So that's the major difference between the Nest Generation 3 thermostat and the new Google Nest thermostat or the Nest E thermostat. The Nest Gen 3 is going to be compatible with the most systems, and then the Google Nest thermostat and the Nest E are going to be compatible with pretty much the same amount of systems because they both have fewer terminals and they both have the same number of terminals. Now, one thing to note with the new Google Nest thermostat is that it does not include a thermostat wall cover plate. So you have to buy this separately if you want to cover up where your existing thermostat was so that you potentially don't have to paint. A lot of times when you remove an old thermostat, you're going to have an area of the wall that was not painted. And these other versions, the Nest E and the Nest Generation 3, both came with this plastic base plate so that you could put the thermostat on like this and it would cover up the existing hole in your wall or where there was no paint so that you didn't need to worry about repainting your house. Now, once again, the new Google Nest does not include this, but you can buy a base plate separately. So we'll include some links to those base plates below. Now, besides the mirrored screen that we find on the new Google Nest thermostat, there are some other functional differences as well. So on the Generation 3 thermostat, the outer ring rotates like so, and that is how you control the Nest thermostat, and then you press the bottom of the thermostat as a button. With the Nest E, it's the same thing. You rotate this outer bezel like so, and you press this button down here to operate the Nest thermostat. Now, the new Google Nest thermostat does not have any kind of a rotating outer ring. Instead, if you want to make adjustments, you slide your finger around the side of the Google Nest, and then you tap the thermostat to select or confirm adjustments on the new Google Nest thermostat. So we're going to do some more videos on the new Google Nest thermostat, but I wanted to get this out there so that you could see the new Google Nest thermostat in 2020 and what some of the new features 
features are. But go ahead and check the links below for some of the updated videos that will show how to install this and a more in-depth review of the device. Now, another change for the new Google Nest thermostat is that it is lower priced than either the Nest E or the Nest Gen 3. And currently, this is about half the price as a Nest Generation 3. So it's designed to be a more economical thermostat than either the Nest E or the Nest Gen 3. So something to take into consideration there. Now, the biggest difference with the new Google Nest thermostat is that it no longer works on the Nest app. Both the Nest Generation 3 and the Nest E work on the Nest app. The new Nest thermostat only works on the Google Home app, so you cannot connect it to the Nest app. If you have other Nest devices like a Nest Smart Lock or a Nest Camera, those all work on the same app as the Nest Gen 3 thermostat or the Nest E thermostat. However, the new Google Nest thermostat still allows you remote control of the device. It does have a humidity sensor built in, a motion sensor built in, and will let you remotely schedule the device, choose set points, switch between heating and cooling modes, and does have a motion sensor that will still detect if you're home or away that is designed to help save you energy. However, it is not controlled on the Nest app and it is solely controlled on the Google Home app. Now, the new Nest thermostat is also compatible with Google Home voice command. So you can control the thermostat with your voice through a Google Home device. And you can also do that with the Nest Generation 3 or the Nest E. You just say something like, okay, Google, turn up the heat to 72 degrees and the thermostat will respond if you have a compatible Google Home device. Now, another big difference with the new Nest thermostat is that it is no longer compatible with remote temperature control sensors. So these remote temperature control sensors work with both the Nest Generation 3 and the Nest E and allow you to record the temperature in other rooms and use it to have a temperature set point in another room. For instance, I have this device in my master bedroom. So I actually have the thermostat to control the temperature in the master bedroom at night because I wanna to go to sleep at a particular temperature every night. So I have found these temperature sensors really useful because you can locate them anywhere in your house versus the thermostat only being able to be located where you have the existing wiring. So rather than control the temperature where the thermostat is located, I can control the temperature where this sensor is located. So the new Nest thermostat is not compatible with these Nest temperature sensors, but the other two versions are. So overall with the new Google Nest thermostat, you get most of the same features as the Nest Generation 3 and the Nest E thermostat. However, you give up temperature sensor control and you can no longer use this on the Nest app. And I really do like the Nest app because it's very intuitive and I have my other Nest devices on there like Nest cameras and Nest smart locks. However, sacrificing those few features with the new Google Nest thermostat, you do get it at a lower price point. So it really comes down to, are you willing to pay more for more features? And are those features that important to you? So thank you for watching this unboxing video on the new Nest thermostat. And if you wanna support us, please subscribe, give us that thumbs up or click any of the links below. Thank you.